Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to have a word with you guys, mm -hmm. if I may. And I just want to talk about the actions that we take to kind of live our lives. Most of the time, the actions that we take, or at least in my case, when I was growing up, was always based upon someone hinting at something to make you want to do something. And even though you might have something in your mind that there's something that you want to do, but because of life, the situation and circumstances, you, you don't feel that you're capable. You don't feel that it's worthy for you to even begin to take that process or just to understand what life is and what it means for you at that moment. And as long as someone is the impetus behind your making actions, they're never, they're never really and truly your actions. They're the actions that is precipitated by someone saying to you, go out here and do that because you can. And sometimes that motivation, if it, if it leads you to your goal, to what you ultimately wanted, then that person that helped you has done a great thing for you. They've done a great thing, and you can remember that, and that can prepare you forward to give you greater actions the next time. But I liken it unto reading a book. There's millions and millions of books given by millions and millions of people, including me. I've written a few myself. And if you read them and they lead you to an action that you have that stirs inside of you, then that material benefits you. It is something that you can use every day of your life and it could be something that can always point you in the right direction. However, if you read a book and the book doesn't spark you to make an action, then that book is not anything that you need because that book is not helping you fulfill and live your dream. Time that we have on the planet is short, ladies and gentlemen. It could be 100 years, it could be 117 years, it could be one year, it could be 20 years. But that time and that span of time is short. Even though we as people think that it's long, it's extended, it's not. Because your dreams is wrapped up in, into the time that you live. So if you're reading a book, and that book say, in order for you to accomplish your dream, you must first take an action. Whatever book tells you to take an action towards your dream, then that's what you must do because that action is your dream and not the book. The book just became the opening mark for you to understand what you need to do. If you talk about taking that first step and you do not take that first step, ladies and gentlemen, the material that you have is immaterial to you because it won't allow you to manifest what your true potential is. We're all put on this planet with a dream inside and everybody knows this I don't care who you are like even if you watch your kids sometimes a parent can watch their kids or they can watch their nieces and nephews and they can say like this kid has a lot of energy he loves to run around he might end up being a track star or every time you see these kids they, they're writing or they could do these certain things and what they do is once they see that then you feed that so that child will understand that we think that this is your gift and we think that that's something that you may like so we want you to try it anyway when we become adults we don't necessarily think that way we get trapped by we gotta take care of our family we gotta extend ourselves to everybody else our friends and we gotta do for everybody else and we don't do for ourselves we do for our family but we don't do for ourselves and there's a lot of books out today that talk about being selfish like not selfish and isolating yourself, but what do you want? What do you need when you live your life? Where do you want to go when you want to have the challenge of your life so that you can still feel alive? Life is for you to feel alive. If you're reading a book and that book says to you, take the first step towards your dream. And if that book is truly the truly good book for you, then you must take that step towards your dream. Now, why am I trying to say this to everybody with things that you get from everybody else in the world that tries to get you to understand your potential from their perspective. You got to understand your potential from your perspective. And if you have something that you really, really want to do in life and you understand the span of time in life and it may take you forever to do what you feel you need to do in life, but if that's giving you some gratification, right, and that's giving you 
the ability to make you think that this is feasible for me, that I can make all of this work. I can live a life where I'm taking the first action towards my dream. And you got to make sure that while you're doing that, that you're giving back to the universe what the universe gave to you. The universe gave us all one thing. If you're watching this video, you may watch it later or you may be talking to somebody. The universe gave us all one thing. If you wake up, you have life. If you're living now, you have life. That life can be impacted by anybody that you surround yourself with. It could be impacted by who you don't surround yourself with. But either way it goes, your life is impacted by you. And if you can just find out what burns most inside of you, then even if you're working a job, you can still be happy because outside of that job, you're trying to do something that validates the fact that you need to feel alive. And if you can find that and pursue that as an adult and make that your pastime passion, then the world makes sense. But if you just spend it doing what everybody else say that you need to do, I guess that's good too if your life pattern is to be a follower. But if you can follow someone and that someone can say to you, take the first step. You want to jog one mile and you can't jog today? Well, go out and walk a half a mile. Turn back around at the half a mile mark and walk back home. You have now walked a mile. If you want to jog that half a mile, jog that half a mile, turn around and walk back. You jog half a mile. But whatever you do, there has to be an action for you to get satisfaction from the life that you have. And if anyone keeps saying to you that you only have one life to live, you have one life to live in the vessel that you currently hold. This vessel that I hold currently only has this life to live. The vessel that you hold presently only have this life to live. And I think we're destined to either make the most of it or make nothing of it. But at the end of the day, it's your free will. It's my free will to jump on, this, on social media and say this because you see a lot of things in life. And those things can make you smile. They can make you laugh. They can even make you cry. But whatever emotional state is, that's your life. Those are your experiences. And this is the life that you're living. My message is, if you read a million books, and a million books does not give you any action towards your dream or your goal, then why read those books? If you read a single book, and that book trumps all the other million books, then you got a book that can help you. But the ultimate book is the book of your life. If you have a dream, if you have a goal, if you have a passion, or even if you just have a sense of direction as to where you want to go, then, ladies and gentlemen, that's the book that you must hold. Once again, I want to thank you for your time and attention. And I just wanted to get out here and say to you guys, when you look at the spacious skies and you look at the trees and you wonder why, make sure that you live fully before you die. Any other thing is not even worth trying. Until next time, people, have a great day.